Hey guys, I'm Elena from We Learn to Share, and in this video, I'm gonna share my experience of studying AP Microeconomics for honestly four days and thankfully getting a five. I will tell you all the tips and hacks to get a five on the AP Micro from my experience, especially when you're cramming the exam just like me. So make sure to watch until the end of the video. Oh, and also I'm planning to make more videos about tips studying other AP subjects and how I have nearly crammed the exam just like the AP Micro and also got a five. So please subscribe to our channel to not miss our latest video. I would like to start off by talking about how my situation was like when I was cramming the AP Micro. Um, I'm currently a 10th grader and was planning to take four APs this year, which I did by now, um, and it was really hard to actually devote time and start studying AP exams early because in my school, which is in Korea, we have our midterms almost right before the AP test. So even if I wanted to, I actually couldn't because of the exams in my school, which are important. And by the time that the midterms was, was over, I needed to go like right into studying for the AP. And because we still have classes in school, even after the midterm, like normal, like uh, which ends at 5 p.m., I decided not to go to school for a few days after the midterm because I thought with confidence that I wouldn't have enough time to study for my APs when I go to school after the midterm. I don't know about other schools in different countries, but in Korea, we have like a legal system that officially allows students to get a few days off from school for a particular reason if they register. So I signed up for, the, for a field trip learning and was legally permitted to not go to school for the particular days I've registered for. And therefore, I had four days off fully and thankfully was capable of devoting the time exclusively and all to studying AP Micro by myself. This is the first tip I want to give you guys, okay? Even though if you're cramming the exam, like make sure to devote as much as time you can at least before a few days of the exam and the four days i have studied for i really study for almost every hour like every minute i study microeconomics like all the time except for the time i've used for sleeping eating and going to the restroom i mean it and also i was ready for it as i really wanted to get a five on my micro and i was eager to cram the exam and this will be my second tip be ready to cram the exam from your heart and i'm telling you this because like there are hundreds and thousands of students out there coming from so many different countries who started to study the ap micro so much earlier than you imagine how much they would have read through those exam materials how many practice tests that they would have taken for you to win them for you to get a five just like them then you need to do all the efforts that they have done for months in a really short period of time like four days and and only to say that that is not impossible it is possible as long as you have the mind or passion or a desperate training in your heart to really get a five so please please make sure to be ready from your heart and have the capacity of devoting all your time into studying for the exam and have the eagerness in your mind to start studying and also if there's someone who is watching this video like just three hours before their exam starts i will seriously recommend you guys to get out you already wasted like three minutes stop watching my video or any other videos related to cramming hex and please start devoting your last three hours fully into the last minute review of microeconomics okay as i have told you in the first part of my video i am in 10th grade so was my first time to ever take an AP exam in my life. So in other words, I barely knew anything about the AP exam itself. I have never seen any practice exams, the like questions from the past AP micro exam. So I started off my four days cram journey by understanding what the exam is like. And this is my third tip. You know, like knowing your enemy well is the key to win over in a battle. You gotta know what comes out in the exam, like how it comes out, how it gets evaluated and all that stuff. But like, don't devote too much time in this part because you have many, many other things to study for that time instead. And time is gold for crammers like us. I think I just read the college board's explanation about the AP Micro and just read the first part here in the Baron's book. And also, I got this from my econ teacher in our school and I found this sheet very helpful. So this will be my fourth tip. I'll share it with you guys. So make sure to know which units come out frequently in the test and consider those when you're actually studying for the exam. Of course, you must devote more time and like study all the details when you're studying the frequently come out parts. And I will now tell you how I actually study for the exam. I mean, like I first got my Baron's book and yeah, if you read through all of the book, like they really did explain well and it is easy to understand. But you know, I really use other resources like videos on YouTube. This will be my fifth tip. I remember watching the ultimate review packet from Jacob Clifford and he is indeed an awesome econ teacher and I really enjoyed his video and learned a lot from his video. But because the ultimate review packet charges you for later lessons and like the worksheets, I only watch it till the free unit and basically watch his other mini relatively shorter videos made on other units that were available free on YouTube. And really there were lots of lots of other video sources that I've used and I've watched when I was learning the concepts and also when I was later stuck solving 
solving some FRQs. And you can also watch those videos very, very easily by typing AP Micro Unit 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever in your YouTube. But I really want to emphasize something by this point. This will be my sixth tip. You should be the one who leads your study. What I mean by this is that you need to be the one who is studying the concepts and preparing for the exam, not the econ teacher on your screen. Watching a video that teaches you the concepts is great, but you need to have something left in your head after that video is over. I literally wrote down and took notes for every single word like a script for econ videos I've watched. By writing them all over again, I could talk to myself and check if I really did understand the concepts. Make your own resource sheet, your own notes by yourself after the video is over. If you don't make those and like just watch one video after another, there will be nothing left in your head even on your exam day. So please make sure to make yourself the main subject of your study, to have the lead in your studies, not the econ teacher from YouTube. Also, you should check how the concepts you've learned are actually applied in questions, and this will be my seventh tip. For me, I had a lot of books open at once on the table when I was studying. So I would have my laptop, which plays the econ videos, and I would have my notebook or mostly my iPad taking notes from the videos. And I had the 2021 Barron's Microeconomics book open that will match the unit of the video and also some other editions of Barron's Microeconomic books like the 2019 edition I've received from my senior. So after I finished like watching the videos and wrote down all the notes, I started to read the same notes that explain the concepts that I just watched in the video in the Barron's book and tried answering the review questions right after. And I don't remember exactly but I think there were indeed like similar questions among different editions of Barron's books. So I would also recommend you guys to go one step further and take a lot of practice tests or pass AP exams. And this will be my last tip. When I was taking various past exams, I sorted questions to different categories based on the units, then had them all together in pages. If you take a lot of practice exams and solve questions from the past exams, you will, in a certain point, feel and recognize how College Board makes questions in the way, like the pattern they give out questions regarding some concepts. Oh, and if you bought the Barron's book, don't take the diagnostic test at first because it's a total waste of your one precious practice exam. I saved all the tests in the Barron's book until the last day before my exam started and I actually took the last practice test like at the morning of the day of my exam. Okay, so this will be the eight tips I wanted to give to crammers that I have learned from my experience and please share this video to your friends who are crammers just like us and feel free to leave a comment right below to share your thoughts and your tips if you have one for studying AP Microeconomics. I wish you all the best to get a five on the AP Microeconomics exam. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.